Hi, it's AMC Me, and we're back with episode eight of Marry My Husband. Another fantastic episode, okay? This episode was had very some very satisfying scenes in it, okay? My blood boil did boil, okay, a few times, but it's okay. Fine. So the episode starts with Su Min and Min Huan going to the stream to go get the number one flag and they just see the pole laying on the shore somebody already got the flag and um while they're walking there min Huan compliments her necklace the same necklace Yuan noticed when they were over um eavesdropping on Yuan and juran talking about where they placed the number one flag so then it cuts to Jiwon and she's in one of the tents and she has a blanket on her and she's sneezing because our girl got the number one flag by herself. Okay, so props to her. She did what she needed to do like she wanted to. Um, I do understand her saying that she wants to do stuff by herself because she can see the parallels of how Suman gets stuff and how... You just have more appreciation when it's something you've done yourself. Yuan and He Yuan are telling Yuan she's incredible for actually going up there to get the flag because they were about to move it. They were about to come get it before she showed up with it. And Jiwon looks at He Yuan and she was like, What does it mean when somebody says they want to be your land? In reference to Ji Hyuk when he said that to her when they were in the water. And He Yuan's like, You mean lamb? Like me? That sounds delicious right now. You know, our girl's always about the food. And she's like, Are you sure that's what they meant? Um, and she's like, Maybe you should just ask them. And Ji Yuan's like, Do you mean Mr. Park? If he said something like that to you, um, it could mean all kinds of things. My husband used to say stuff like that to me before and I didn't understand it. And she's like, maybe you should sneak him into your camper and then ask him about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, thank you. Jiwon is like, yeah, no. I'm going to need him and Suman to link up with me nowhere in in the vicinity and um after she has that conversation with them and she's like warmed up some and dried off she's like i'm gonna head back out and they're like what are you doing you got the number one flag you can like just hang out in here and she's like no i just want to follow the rules i'll go out and find somewhere to hide and make sure i can keep my flag and i'm like okay girl if that's what you want to do while she's walking back to where everybody's playing the treasure hunt she sees Ji Hyuk and he tells her, oh, he tells her that she's reckless and she said it's okay. She knows she's not going to die from drowning, which plausible. Like, I understand. Why not? Just go for it. And they go for a uh, walk together. They walk together and Ji Won and Ji Hyuk are walking and he asks her, do you think that Su Min is going to try and take the flag from you? And she's like, I don't know. But she's like, but I did realize that Min Hot, but she does know for certain Min Wan borrowed money from her and he used it to buy a necklace. The same one that everybody's been complimenting Human on. Well, Min Wan was the only one that complimented on her on it. Ji Wan was the one who noticed it, but didn't say anything. And she tells uh, Ji Hyuk that's his killer move. He did the same thing to her when they started dating. Um, and he's like, oh, the same exact necklace. And she's like, no, hers looks like it's actually expensive. He gave me a smaller one. He must think that I'm easy. And Ji Hyuk got like upset when she said that. He like looks at her in concern and she's like, it's fine. It's okay. If that's the only investment that I have to put towards this relationship now for me to escape it, it's fine. Jiwon and Ji Hyuk, and she asks them again. She's like, So, what were you saying? Lamb? Land? Lamb? Amp? And he just smiles and doesn't say anything. And then it cuts to Suman chasing somebody, and she rips their name tag off, and she gets 
their flag, which was flag number four, the single tent. And after she gets done collecting that girl's uh, flag, she sees Jiwon and she's holding the number four or number four, the number one flag. And she's like trying to like make sure nobody's following her. And then it cuts to, well, Suman gets excited when she sees Jiwon has it, of course. So they show Jiwon and she's like making sure nobody's following her. And she like rolls the flag up and stuffs it down into her um, shirt. And Suman sneaks up on her and tries to rip her name tag off. I girl got moves now because she's been practicing. She used some judo moves on her, <laughs> grabbed her hair. And she's like, oh, you scared me. And she's like pulling her hair. She's like, oh, no, my bracelet likes mean and it got caught in her hair. She like fucks her up a little bit and then throws her on the ground and she's like, oh, you're not mad, are you? It's just a game. Like That is so satisfying. I really need to see more of this fight. Okay. Spoiler, they don't show enough of it. This episode, I'm hoping in the future episodes we get to see a little bit more because I'm down. I'm down to see Suman get her ass beat anytime. And then after she does that, uh, Jiwon walks away, but then she feels kind of guilty for what she did. So she goes back. Why, girl? She goes back to check on her. She doesn't see her, so she turns back around. And then Suman comes and rips her name tag off. And she's like, I knew you would come back. And then takes the flag. Yeah, I was pissed. But Suman did this evil laugh after she said it, and she was like, did you really go in the water? That's why everybody's always so impressed with you. And then it cuts to everybody that was at the, everybody that was at the workshop gathered to uh, see who won all the accommodations. And he, Yuan, goes up, and she was like, all right, we're starting off with who was the female employee who got flag number one? And it's really quiet. Then everybody starts. Drum roll. <laughs> and Juwan gets up, our girl. And then everybody cheers. And then you just see Suman sitting over there seething and all pissed off like in your disappointment you deserve it and then it cuts back to the flag scene again when Ju um Zuman had the flag oh she gets she grabs the flag and Juwan grabs her leg Suman's like <sighs> and Juwan grabs her leg more and Suman like grips onto the flag and then it just cuts back to it again and it shows uh Ji Hyuk smiling at her because he's proud that she she didn't let that bitch steal her shit I don't know if he knew well, I think he knew she would probably try to go after it. I don't know if he knew they had a confrontation or not. But then it shows Jiwon go into one of the sinks to wash her hand. And Suman walks up and she's like, are you happy you beat me? He's like, you know, I can't just sleep anywhere. And Jiwon's like, well, neither can I. Suman's like, really? Why did I think that you could? And she, Jiwon is like, because I did it for you. And Suman's like, what? And Jiwon's like, nothing. And she goes to walk away. And Suman takes a handful of water and splashes it on her. And Jiwon turns around and she's like, well, first of all, I was like, you should beat her ass right here. You know, that sink is right there. It's metal. We can just exchange the death for death right, right now. <laughs> Slam her head on the sink. But you know, our girl's classy. She didn't do that. But Suman is like, why are you like this to me? And Juwan's like, what do you mean? And she's like, why don't you let me win? How much longer are you going to act like this? First of all, bitch, compete if you want to win. But we know you're manipulative and a piece of shit. So not going to follow the rules. She's like, you're making me feel like the bad guy. And Juwan is like, I just don't like you anymore. And Suman is shook. She's like, didn't know what to say. And she and Jiwon's like, I tried not to show it, you know, but I failed. I mean, I'll just tell. She's like, I'll just tell you I started to hate you. You whine and try to act cute. And you think everything of mine is yours. And you're annoying. And I was like, oh, I bet that felt so cathartic. And Suman's like, well, you always yielded to me before. And Jiwon's like, you're right. I did. I did let you whine. And she's like, but I'm stopping now. She's like, I'm marrying Min Hwan and I'm going to start a new family. 
because I don't want to be attached to you anymore. And then walks off. She hesitates. She like stops and like hesitates, but then she keeps walking. I'm like, good progress. I was like, that's what you did with the flag and look what happened. And I think she learned her lesson after that. She doesn't feel guilty anymore, I think. But then it cuts to her talking to Ji Hyuk um, and she's like crying. She was like, I just, like I told her exactly how I felt and it needed to be done, but why do I feel bad? Why do I feel guilty? And Ji Hyuk's like, it's okay. It's like, it's because you're a good person. You did the right thing. You said what needed to be said and you did a good job. And I was like, oh, he's right though. She did. She did a really good job. And then it cuts to Suman again and she's standing by the sink where she's still flabbergasted that Jiwon finally stood up to her little snake ass. And she's looking at Min Hwan, who's hanging out, getting drunk as hell. And after he takes a shot, he sees her over by the sink and she's like playing with her necklace. And then she walks off. Of course, he went to go follow her and she's at, outside of her tent. And he is like, he's like, what's wrong? And she was like, he's like, do you want to talk? And she's like, I just feel uneasy. And he, she was like, how did you know that something was wrong with me? He was like, I could just look at you and tell. You can't tell. There's anything wrong with your real girlfriend? Crash. Okay. A whole burning dumpster. Men Juan. And he was like, I can tell you have a lot on your mind. And that's when she's like, well, I feel uneasy. And she touches her necklace again. And Min Hwan looks at her for a second. And he was like, do you want to sleep with me? And she's like, what is that going to solve? You're Ji Won's boyfriend and I'm her other half. And he's like, is it the alcohol? Because the only thing I care about is what's standing, what's sitting right in front of me. And he like caresses her cheek. And then she like nuzzles her hands. She nuzzles her face into his cheek more. Ew. And she was like, I had a lot of alcohol too. And I feel the same way. And then they instantly start making out. All out in the open. Where anybody could see them. Which, I'll get to that later. You could see Jiwon watching them. Like she watched the whole thing go down. And she's staring at them and she starts to cry. Ji Hyuk comes and he covers her eyes with his hand and turns her around so they can walk away. And while they're, she's like, while they're walking, she just like instantly just crumples down and starts crying. And Ji Hyuk is like, you can't check your wounds or your opponents on the mat. He was like, just focus, focus on two things. I just, de I decided to fight. I will win. And Jiwon repeats it, but then she just starts crying more. And Ji Hyuk starts to like pat her on her back. And then it cuts to Ji Ron and He Yeon. They're going for a walk because girl Ji Ron, she had a good time. She drank a lot. And um they're like walking and they're just talking about how they think the project is gonna be really successful with the relaunch and everything. And they hear this sound in like the distance and he yawn gets excited. She's like, oh, I hear that the elk, the elks get really aroused around here. She's like, I want to go see it. And Juron catches her like and drags her back. She's like, no, we're not going to go do that. <laughs> and she drags her back to the campsite. I was like, that bitch really that loud? Suman, like was that Suman making that noise? It's not, and it's not freaking elks. Like, if she's that loud, somebody had to have seen that, if that was her. Ji Yuan and Ji Hyuk, they're, like, sitting on these tree stumps. And he was telling her, um, she was telling him about how she met Zuman and how when she met her, she thought she was so pretty and she felt so proud to have such a pretty friend that was nice to her. And that Min Hwan, she said he was always, like, an asshole, but he was somebody that she could trust and rely on. And she was like, I was a fool, huh? And he's like, no, you weren't. And um, he lets her know, like, he, you, it's all over. You can stop talking about them. And that she won. And she had her hand on the, they had a stump in between them. And she had her hand on the stump. And he put his hand over hers and was, like, patting it. And she told him, she was like, that's the most affection that I've had in a long time from somebody holding or like touching my hand and he like he didn't realize he was doing it and he like moved his hand away and they're walking back oh well while they're sitting there she just told him she's like 
I'm really thankful that you're here and I can tell you all this stuff. And he gets up and he's like, no, he's like, yeah, my life was like a well-written novel. He's like, it's, it was a life without worries and it was well-written, but it was boring. And he was like, I'm just glad I was able to come back and I'm happy that I get to talk to you. I get to talk to you like this. And I was like, this little Casanova, my heart was like, oh, like twice, three times actually that he in these two episodes, he made my heart flutter. The one time when he shouldered his heart on his chest. The second time when they were in the water and he like held her face. And then just now when he said that, cute. So cute. He stretches out his hand to her and she grabs it and he helps her up. And she told him, she told him, you can never keep it simple. And he's like, really? And he just smirked and they walk back to the campsite. And she asks him, she's like, she asks him again about what he said. And he's like, was it champ? She was like, whatever it is, I can help you. He was like, you don't have to worry about trying to repay me. And she's like, just be honest. Cause I feel like you're lying. Cause you're lying right now. And she was like, and he was like, okay, I was saying champ. And she's like, you're lying. And he's like, no, I'm telling the truth. And then it cuts through the next morning and Juwan's coming out of her camper and Minwan comes up being a little sassy bitch saying, I hope she, I hope you slept well, leaving your boyfriend out here in the cold. Did you not even feel guilty about it? And she's like, well, actually I went to go check on you and you weren't there. Like, I went to bring you some hand warmers. And he was like, oh, uh, I went to the bathroom. We all know where his ass was at. B even knows where his ass was at. She asked him if he slept there. And he um, he was like, well, you should have just left the hand warmers there then. And she was like, well, have you seen Suman? He's like, no. Why would I know where she is? And she's like, did you know where she slept? And he's like, no. Why would I know that? And she's like, oh, because we had a fight. And he's like, oh, women are always fighting. Fight, fight, fight. Make up, fight. Make up, fight. I'm like, shut your ass up. Just shut up. And he was like, let's go get breakfast. And it cuts to Suman like sitting up where her tent was supposed to be at. And she's staring down at them at Jiwon and Minhwan. And you can tell like the little gears are moving in her head. And she's trying to come up with some kind of master plan. While well, all along they're in Jiwan's master plan, they're just she doesn't even have to move move pieces or strings that much because they're trash. There are they it's not much heavy lifting for her. And Juron walks up to her while she's over there. She has her hands her arms crossed and everything, looking down at them. Juron comes up to her and she's like, Hey, where'd you sleep last night? Again. When she first said that, I was like, oh, did she see them? Did somebody else besides Ji Hyuk and Ji Wan see them out there making out? Well, sleeping together. They slept together. <laughs> and she's like, oh no, I just got drunk and I left my stuff over here, but I slept um I slept somewhere else. Because when they showed when she said that, it showed Ju Ron's face and it looked like she didn't believe her at all. She was like like, yeah, I got really drunk, too, and I went for a walk with he on trying and sober up. And it cuts to Zoomin and Minhuan putting their clothes back on. That's why I'm like, they slept together. And while they're putting their clothes on, he was like, let's not mention this. Zoomin is so offended. Like, girl, you're a side chick, okay? A side chick that should not be seen or heard. You're not even... Well, she is considered because they're technically Yuan and Minhuan are together. But girl, he doesn't, he don't care about you. You think just because you slept with them, you won over G1? You think. But um, he is like, yeah, let's not mention this. And she gets offended. And she's like, what? And he is like, yeah, you're the one who said this was messy. Let's not make it a messy reality. Let's just keep it as a beautiful memory. He said, a one and done girl. Like, that's it. I hit it and quit it. Out of my face. I'm done with you. Well, Juron asks Suman if she wants to go to breakfast with her. And Suman's complaining about the workshop, saying how she didn't like it. Everybody else looked like they were having fun. You're just mad that you didn't win and you got beat by Juwan. And that shows Juwan and Minhuan 
going to like the little buffet and he's being like the dutiful boyfriend and putting food and stuff on her plate for her after he was just out here fucking her best friend in the woods for any and everybody to see bony diabolical disgusting evil <laughs> and when they get close Suman's like, oh, let's go to this buffet because there's two different tables. She's like, let's start over here first. And while she's at the other table, Suman's like watching Min Hwan, like being all lovey-dovey with Jiwon and she's getting pissed. And you can see the gears are moving again. They're clicking in her head. She's formulating something. They're on the bus back, going back into the city. Ji Hyuk looks back and thinks to himself, I guess things didn't go as expected. Like they're supposed to be breaking up. They were not still supposed to be together. And Jiwon thinks about like all of her previous boyfriends. Whenever she noticed something was off, they would break up immediately. But Min Wan's not like that. And she's like, he's even more of a scumbag because he's doing all this behind my back. And he's not even breaking up with me. And she's like, I know Su Min and I know Min Wan. I know they did something. She's seen it, obviously. But they're acting like everything's hunky-dory. And Su Min's sitting in her bus seat nibbling on her finger on her nails again trying to come up with a plan and it cuts to Suman in her bedroom and all the pictures that she had hung up of her of her and Jiwon um she scratched out all of Jiwon's uh pictures she scratched her face out and then when it gets to the picture of when they went to the picnic and it's um Min Hwan, Jiwon and Suman she taps on Min Hwan's picture and she's like this is like, she finally figured out what her angle's going to be for her revenge. It cuts to Min Hwan, and he's at the gym having a fantastic workout, like, all over the moon. And his friend's like, you're in a good mood. And he's like, yeah, I did it. And he's like, you have sex with your girlfriend's best friend? He was like, and he made, like, a euphemism, like, he sure did. And... He was on the treadmill. He got off the treadmill and he went to get on one of the weight machines. And his friend's like, did you think about the consequences? Y'all all three work together. Min Hwan is like shocked, like fucking idiot. Of course he didn't think about the consequences. And next day at work, it shows like itinerary of what they're going to be doing for the project. And Min Hwan and Su Min got paired up to do like this taste testing at one of the local grocery stores so they could get a gauge on products the customers like and Jiwon walks up to him while he's looking at it and she's like oh you're doing the food tasting you're gonna be really tired he tries to pawn it off on her and she's like what do you mean she's like I just got done completing um my slides for my presentation he was like oh I can do that the slides are done already right that reminded me in the webtoon Jiwon used to do G um all of Min Hwan's work like all of his reports and everything he used to write them for him. And in the webtoon, Ji Hyuk knew and he told him, like he had him in his office the one time and he said, I'm going to need you to start writing your own reports because I know Ji Won is writing them for you. I don't know if they're going to say anything about that in future episodes or not, but when that happened, that reminded me um, of that instance, instance in the webtoon. So his ass don't be at work doing shit either. Him or Su Min. Ji Hyuk comes out after he hears him trying to pawn off the food tasting on Jiwon. He's like, is there a problem? <laughs> and Su Min comes over to him and she's like, oh, Mr. Park, you want to head out now? And she goes over to Jiwon's desk and leaves a card before she leaves. And Juron has the nerve. I was so mad when she said this, but Juron's like... Suman has been doing really well. She's such a hard worker. I hope she becomes a full-time employee. I don't. <laughs> I hope she gets fired. I hope she go to jail. I mean, I could care less what happens to this girl as long as she does not win over Jiwon. But when she says that, Jiwon doesn't even answer her. She gives no response at all. She just turns back to the letter that she gave her and she opens it up and she reads it. Okay, it's me coming in, and I figured I should read to you guys what the letter said, since I wouldn't be able to record all of it to put in the video. To my other half, Jiwon, I'm sorry I didn't know how you felt. You're everything to me. And I think I 
made me blind to your feelings. I just blindly believe you loved me. I didn't think about whether I deserved your love. So everything you said and everything you felt towards me, it's all my fault. Still, can't you forgive me? You're too precious to me. I can't live without you. I'm going to wait until you feel better. If I knock and you ever want to reopen your closed heart to me, will your smile, will you smile as if nothing happened? You're my other half. We can't just end things like this. A whole bunch of garbly garbage. It's well written, which, sure. You're just trying to bring her in closer so you can um, feel like you're winning over her. And Jiwon, it comes to Jiwon and she's outside at one of the little uh, picnic tables and she's sitting. And Jihyo comes and he gives her a coffee. Um, and she tells him, she's like, if I wouldn't have seen the end, I really would have believed this letter. And he, she shows it to him and he is like, well, she's a really good writer. And when he says that, I was like, she probably could have been really good at this job if she would have actually applied herself or she could have maybe even just been a good writer or some other job that involves her doing that type of communication. And then it cuts to Inho and at the restaurant and he's like getting everything prepped for the day. And he glances at the table where Ji Hyuk was at when he got drunk and passed out and it cuts to it goes to this scene when he was drunk there he's saying the same thing he said to Yuan. he was like my life's a well-written novel and he's like but Kang Jiwon is the wrong sentence in it he says it's short and crooked and the content is um is in the writing is like really sloppy he's, oh he says it's a mess but it keeps catching his eye and opening to that page and ho is like dude what are you talking about he was like i'm gonna need you to like get it together or something and he was like and he and uh ji hyuk looks at him and he's like but you're more qualified than i am he was like you're at least gonna be here longer than 10 years and then he just like passes out at the table and then it cuts to action that well before i get to that what he said when i first watched it i was like that's kind of mean but then it makes sense because her it was short and crooked her life just her life in general it was short and crooked because it was taken away early there were always people there who mess up the path that she should have been on so it was crooked it was a mess because of those two people and he wants to be the person to be there with her but you know boys like having some angst right now and some inner turmoil that i don't know if he's gonna get over or not we'll see and then it cuts to all the people that are going to the food tasting at the local grocery store they're getting stuff out of the back of one of the trucks and you see an allergy sign that nobody grabs is just sitting in the back of the truck um and Suman goes and she's carrying a box and Minwon grabs a box and he sees her and she like looks over her shoulder at him, tries to walk all sexy and Minwon's like, oh, it's all excited. He is so pathetic. But anywho, <laughs> it goes to one of the people that are going to be handing out the test, the taste test. Well, the samples mixing together some taboki. Suman's like, oh, let me taste some. And she drops it on her hands right here. And she waits till Min Juan looks at her and then she licks it again, like how she licked that wound when they were at the workshop. This girl will give her, I think I mentioned it before, I will give her that she is very good at trying to seduce men and just being manipulative in general. I think I said this in the last video, like granted Min Juan's like an idiot, so it's not that hard, but he had Mr. Kim too, so... He has some skills, but he gets excited when she does that. And then she goes to put her hair up in a ponytail and make sure Minwan's looking at her when she does this too. And he's like looking at her, getting all excited. And she's like, well, I'm going to go get the allergy signs, the ones that were in the back of the van. And Minwan is like, yeah, so we're good to go. Y'all can like just do stuff. And he runs out and goes to follow her. It cuts to Jiwon giving her presentation. And Juron's there, and Mr. Lee is there, and Juron looks at Mr. Lee, um, and it cuts he cuts to him getting on the elevator, and she runs up to him to stop him, and just thank him for putting her in charge of the program or the project, and he tells her he did it because she's capable, and then he tells her to finish her sentences because she just kind of like trails off when she speaks, and just say thank you. Then he says 
remember when you do get feedback to remember the good one too and i'm like is this his version of flirting and i was like him and old jihyuk maybe they're more similar than i think and i'm like because it kind of did feel like he was flirting with her and she's just like huh he is like she's like okay and he's like you're a capable worker and she's like thank you like he told her to and when the elevator comes he hurries up and gets in and he doesn't make eye contact with her he like keeps his head down the whole time i'm like okay so he'll try to make me like him because he would be way better even though we don't know much about him he doesn't seem like he's too bad but i don't know just from the little bit we know about him he's better than her husband i'm gonna need him out of the picture though before he tries to anything but i'm like oh mr lee is okay how to be all suave all right <laughs> then it cuts to suman and minhwan in the storage closet at the grocery store they lock the door and suman like pushes him up on one of the products before that suman is in a storage area and she's writing in this notebook and that's when min Hwan comes up to her and she's like here read this and he reads it and he's like surprised and then that's when it cuts to ju ron and well ji wan giving her presentation in the scene with ju ron and mr lee and then it cuts to suman and Min Hua Ha, oh my gosh, Suman and Min Huan in the closet, the storage area. And it shows the notebook and it says, I want to do it. It's just written on there like multiple times. And right before they're like about to do anything, Suman's like, so what are we going to do? And he was like, we're going to do it, right? That's what she wrote, right? And she's like, no, about me and you. And he was like, I'll live with both of you. And she's like, what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, they used to do it in the old days. And he t turns them around. So she's against, since she's against the crate. And he was like, yeah, they used to do it in the old days. We can just all live together. And Suman's like, what? No, her plan is not working. <laughs> He's supposed to break up with Jiwon and get with her. <laughs> That's what she thinks is supposed to happen. But he's a greedy prick. That's not happening. And um, he gets a phone call. It's one of the people that are helping them with the food tasting. And they run back out. One of the customers had an allergic reaction because Suman was supposed to go get the sign. And she didn't come back with it because they're too busy trying to bang each other. And it cuts to them at the hospital. And Min Juan is giving like a 90 degree bow and apologizing and suman's doing like a little head bow she's like sorry sorry and min Juan fully fully bent over and the wife is getting upset and the husband like no no it's okay we can let it go nothing bad happened it can happen it was an accident um and then it shows min Juan paying for the ambulance fee and the uh, guy's hospital bills and he says that it's better to just use money to all of it then to let the company find out because they would both be lit the fuck up and in trouble and suman's like oh wow i can't believe he spent all that money she's like but if he had an allergy he should have been more careful but you should have put the sign out and he wouldn't have ate it issue solved but then um minwan's like oh it's fine my stocks they got a good return cut to the tv at the hospital saying the ceo of tku the one that Min Juan invested all his money in fled, <laughs> tried to flee and got caught. And he hasn't been playing his employees in two months. It's all bad. All his money gone. <laughs> and it shows uh, Ji Wan out on the street where she they have the news playing on one of the buildings. And she just turns, she just smiles and turns her way. And it, the next day at work, Min Juan and Ji Wan are in an office and he's in there like, freaking the hell out because he's fucking dead broke <laughs> dead broke good check you know that's two checks actually because he broke him and suman got a thing going and then jiwan tells them like why don't you just sell your stock he freaks out on her and then he's like i tried to but nobody wants to buy it why are you yelling at her he thought the same thing you thought and she was like, well, what's wrong? And he's like, well, the thing is, um, actually, uh, I used some credit. And she's like, okay. 
And she's like, oh, no. Well, like, she's, like, feigning. Like, she's so concerned. But she gets a phone call. And she says it's Mitch Yang. And she's got to go. <laughs> and she leaves. And after she leaves, he was like, that's not the big issue, though. I took out a private loan. He took out a private loan so he could invest it in stocks. And now that money is gone. And now that loan is going to be due. Um, and it cuts to Jiwon. And she's on the phone with Ji Hyuk and he was like he actually has a private loan he actually took out a private loan too and Ji Won's like you know what I'm not surprised he would he wouldn't mention that because it would hurt his pride he's like now he really has to get married um and Ji Hyuk's like just keep an eye out on, keep an eye on him and it cuts to Min Hwan and Suman in the storage closet um at work the same one that him and Ji Won were in when she was like kind of act all cutesy and he tells her, this is where we end. He was like, if I'd have got to know you a little bit more, I might have fallen completely in love with you. I'm going to marry Ji Won. <laughs> and then he says, goodbye. And when he walks out, Suman's like, so you don't want me to, you want me to keep my mouth shut? And the way she said it was threatening. And he turned around like, what? And she's like, don't worry, I won't say anything. I want you to be happy. And then she has this like evil smile. He's stupid because she's obviously lying. She's about to make your life hell because she's a vindictive person. And then it, uh, Min Hwan and Ji Won, they're out at the same restaurant where Min Hwan took Su Min when they were both trying to go to Ji Won's house. And they went to that like um, little local dine place, dining place. And Min Hwan's trying to drink all this alcohol and act like he's just so pathetic and um she's like don't stop drinking so much and he asked jiwon if she likes him and she's like you know she wanted to say fuck no i hate your ass but she's like of course and he says he wanted to marry her next year but it's the han river for him so dramatic and the way he looked at her he expected her to respond and show some kind of concern she's just like and she in her head she was like he really is a piece of shit he just wants me to spend all my money to help his ass um and she was like it's okay you can earn it back and he's like but what about you what about your age and kids she was like you don't want kids and all i want all i need is you and he's like oh you're right uh -huh. and he's like but i'm a third generation son and she's like okay what are we gonna do about this and then he like gets all serious and he grabs her hands and he was like we should get married He's like, I can't give you the glamorous life that I wanted to because the issues with my stocks. And she just looks at him like this pathetic trash panda. Well, he's not a trash panda. Raccoon. Well, he is cute, but anyways. He's like this pathetic scumbag loser just really asked if he could leech off of me. And he was like, I know you're not that. You're not a snob. You don't care about money. And he was like, but if we get married... Then we can have our own family and we can start over tomorrow. And she's just like, and he thinks he got her because she brought up family. And since he doesn't have any, he doesn't have her mom or dad. He thinks he got her. That's like his gotcha. Um, Jiwon and Jihyuk are walking and she tells him that this guy is really, he really wants to marry her because he's flat broke. And he knows that if they get married, his family will give him money. Because that's what he did previously. And then he took that money and invested it. And then after that, the debt just kept piling up and piling up. And she thought she should stay with him because they could get through it together. Obviously, we see how that ended. And Ji Hyuk's like, he's a very selfish person. And when they're going up the stairs, they go past the area where Ji Won used to take care of the cat. And she mentions that. She's like, there used to be a cat here that I would take care of. Um... And they finish the conversation in the martial arts studio. And they're like sitting on the mats watching Ji Hyuk's friends practice. And she was like, it was, um, she's like, I, I regret that I never took it home with me. She's like, but I just felt like I wouldn't have properly been able to take care of it. And she like described the cat saying it was a, it was a little feisty cat that didn't like the other cats. Uh, and it got in the fight with them and they ran it off. And G Hyuk was kind of silent. And then he was like, I got, I got, he's like, he got discharged early because of something similar to a car accident. And G Won's like, similar to a car accident. He was like, yeah, there was an orange, there was a cat in the road and I went to go save it. 
And when I went to get up, we found out that I ruptured some ligaments in his leg. And Jiwon looks at him and she is like, he is like, yeah, it's an orange. It's a cheesy tabby. He cheesy tabby cat that doesn't like people. And Jiwon like is shocked because she realizes that the cat he's taking care of is Pang, the cat that they both used to take care of when they're in college. And they end up just leaving the judo lessons and they go back to Ji Hyuk's house. And Ji Wan's like playing with the cat and telling him how cute she is, how cute he is. And Ji Hyuk gives her his code for his apartment. And he's like, you can come whenever you want to to play with Pang. And she's like, really? Um, and while they're playing with Pang, they go over the um, plan. And she's like, at this point, I think Min Hwan is like half a billion won in debt. So for us, that'd be like half a million. So $500,000, $500,000 in debt. Can you imagine? I can't imagine. So I can see why he's freaking out, but I don't feel bad for him. Um, and while she's telling him about that, she was like, Ugh. now she's like, it's probably going to be like it was the last time he did it. She was like, did it. He proposed to me on my birthday and she's like, it was tolerable, but I hated it. Y'all, this is the most ghetto, low effort proposal I have. <laughs> There's balloons taped to the wall. Some of them are busted. There is some kind of sandwich it looks like it's egg with nutella on it with two candles and then there's a sheet of paper not even like the poster board that you would use and it says marry me will you marry me and he put m-e-r-r-y he x'd out the e and just wrote a over top of it he didn't even take the time to get a new piece of paper and you could tell previous g one she was over it she tried to she she couldn't even blow the candles out and she was like that's the only thing that really pisses me off she was like i'm coming back reborn and this is gonna be my birthday and it cuts to the grandpa and he's like ji hyuk did what and mr lee mr lee told him something and then uh he mr lee shows uh the grandpa some investment that looks like it's really good. It's something with aero robotics. That I guess like at that time they are just getting the technology for it. And he asked him if he wanted him to buy some stocks. And he's like, yeah, if it sounds like a good investment, you should use the UNK stocks to purchase it. Um, and then it cuts to the drone, these drones like lifting up and they spell out spring day and there's a heart and there's a cat an orange cat and Jiwon is like looking at it and she's all happy and smiling and Min Hwan comes up behind her and he's looking I know I talk shit about him but he's a good looking man okay I just don't like his character but he looks really good right here he has on like a three-piece suit with the vest and the jacket he has his hair hair done up he looks good um and Jiwon's like what what is this and he gets down on one knee and proposes to her he like takes it out and puts it on her finger, everything. And he even calls her his princess. And then it gets to behind them. There's Juran, Yiyan, Sumin, and Ji Hyuk. And they're all clapping. Sumin and Ji Hyuk, so unenthusiastic with these claps. The other two, Blissful Ignorance, they're just like, yay! <laughs> And then it cuts to each of the four main characters. It first cuts to Ji Hyuk and he was like, I I'll do I will do anything for her. Then it cuts to Min Hwan and he was like, I hope she doesn't find out this is a cubic the ring that he got, it's cubic zirconia. And then it cuts to Sumin and she was like, I'm not gonna let you get married. Or I'm not I won't let them get married. And then it cuts to Jiwon and she was like, it makes you so mad that I'm happy right now, doesn't it? She was like, do everything possible that you can to marry my husband. And then it ends. I was like, Whew. now wait for next week. It's going to get, it's getting every week getting juicier and juicier. I'm never let down. The thing is though, I'm going to need for them to break up and I think it's coming. And then... I'm gonna need her to be single for a little, little bit. And then I'm gonna need her and Ji Hyuk to 
start dating not going together just going out on dates because their chemistry is electric and i love it and i want some more of it human total piece of shit this whole this whole week uh, we learn like just how vindictive she is how cunning and backstabby she is and how she just has to she just has some grudge against jiwan and we haven't found out why besides the fact that it just seems like she's jealous of her for the most part that's what it seems like i cannot wait cannot wait for them to get their just desserts because they totally need it mr lee surprised me he pissed me off in episode seven but this week not so bad i might I might back off on him a little bit because I do think he likes Juran and that's what people were saying because there's a Mr. Lee in the books or in the webtoon but he I just didn't expect the man that they got for him the actor to be him like it didn't click when I seen him but if those two get together I think that would be cute I just want to know what happened that made him say that to her when they were on Jeju Island I need to know Maybe we'll find out next week. Ki Yuan, she didn't, she was, she was cute. She didn't do very much this episode. Ji Hyuk, our man is making moves. I want him to get over this, this hurdle that he has right now and understand. Well, I just want him to understand that I don't think he's going to die in 10 years and move accordingly. Meaning go after Ji Yuan. <laughs> it seems like he's, he's crying i'm an i'm a because i can understand where he's coming from but i'm gonna need him to still do it like even if he were to pass away those 10 years with him would equal so much more happiness for her than any of the time she had with men juan and how we didn't see him very much this episode which is fine he's cool outfits there weren't that many Jiwon had two. I like the, it looked like a sweater dress, but it might have been two separates. She had a shirt, or like a sweater and a sweater dress. And it was like a cream color and she had these brown knee-high boots on. And that looked really nice. Um, and then she had that black pantsuit. And I really liked the collar on it. Zoom in. I liked her um, her blue outfit. It looked like it was two separate pieces. I liked her outfit that she had on. It was like drapey. Uh, the blue one that she wore when they went to the food tasting. And the dress that she had on when she was in the closet with Min Juan when he said that it's over for them. Min Juan, because I don't mention him very much, he usually dresses fine, but his outfit, his suit that he wore for the proposal, he looked fantastic. A very, very sexy. I think I kind of explained what I want to happen in the next episodes. I think the, well, her ex mother in law is going to be make an appearance. I don't know if she's going to be a bitch or not. She kind of think in the webtoon she was a bitch from the beginning. So we'll see. Y'all, how are you enjoying Marry My Husband? Are you as excited about new episodes like I am? I watch other YouTube videos too. Like I'll watch people's shorts on it, everything. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this drama. Um, But yeah, I thank you so much for watching the video. Um, if you liked it, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!